Welcome to the first uh, visual podcast. Yo, what's going on? It's us. That's that's us. Hi. This is what we look like. You know that from the vlog, which you probably are not listening to the vlog class. You haven't listened to the vlog. Yeah, this is or like watch the vlog. I mean, this is auxiliary content to the vlog, which is auxiliary content to our lives. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, we, you'll understand why we're doing video for this podcast specifically soon. But yeah, we're just going to cover what, what's happened, what we're interested in, what things that have happened since the last time we recorded. So Yes. Yeah. It's weirder with video. Yeah, I've it is. Because like, in, in most podcasts, like I'll end up like with my legs me. up all the way. Yeah, and I'm like sitting <laughs> By the end of the last, uh, the last like One Piece cast, the Joshi cast, I was like... I was literally laying down like this, <laughs> with like my head all the way back, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I can't do that now. Well, I guess I could. No one's gonna stop me, but I probably shouldn't. Yeah, I should sit up straight, uh, not arch my back, <laughs> have some good posture, and like regard the camera as a human, like you are. Tadokita. Satsuna Saniwa. All right, let's get right into it. Why do we have the video? Okay, so I went to, by myself, solo, solo round to a convention this weekend. It was Anime USA in Washington, D.C. Holy and... shit. <laughs> okay, it was great. I enjoyed it a lot. It was fun. Um, I feel like the first thing I should do is the reason why we have video, and then I'll just go into other stories and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the reason why we have video is because we are going to do a live pickups on the podcast. But the special part of the pickups comes first, and that is the gifts I got for Zeki. <coughs> this is why Josh is full screen, and why I'm in the corner. Okay, so I'm going to go through everything, but first is what the special things is that. So I got you two prints from this really good artist. Oh shit, okay. I'm excited. So, I need back to back, things. here's the first. Yo, ah, I like it. Is that blood? You're frozen to me, by the way. I can't, I can't see your reaction. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. They can, they can see me. Is that blood? I can't understand you either. At the answer, it's too crappy. Is it blood? <laughs> can you even see what I'm showing Boy, you? Boy, yes, I can see what you're showing it's me. It's so late. Like literally, I've been holding up for like a minute. Yes, I can see. Ah, oh, God, you're frozen now, and you're all distorted. <laughs> Uh, let's just get adjusted. Let's just get adjusted. This is this is this is ridiculous. It's just there's no communication happening. It's just it's just a messed up train. Uh, okay, I, you like it? I can see you. Yeah. Okay. I can. Sorry, okay. I have to type. Okay. I have to type to Josh because okay. he can't hear me so right that's now. That's the first print, and <laughs> yo, know, it's just that you're extremely delayed. Like I'll hear what you're saying like 30 Fine. seconds after you say it. Okay, so. We got uh, this. You saw it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful frame. Yes, I love it. So hot. Okay, and then on the back, as I was buying that print, I noticed another print in the corner. For in the you. corner. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> I love it. Ah! So both of these are He's spamming in the chat. I'm scared. It's like a <laughs> horror movie, guys. Hello, <coughs> Joshy. <laughs> Is he caught up yet? Can he hear me? Can he hear what I'm saying? I can hear you. I can hear okay, you what okay. you're saying. You, we're back. We're synced up. We're live. We're ah, online. God. So you. So I assume you abs absorbed everything that I just. Yes. Presented yeah. To I got you. it. You are totally. Even though you're like lagged. a frozen, distorted mess. <laughs> You're you're not a person anymore. You're just blobs of pixels. You are not lagging at all for me. I can't you're understand what you're saying. Okay, sorry about the technical difficulties. Welcome back. Uh, our internet, my internet just collapsed. I'm now on a new Wi-Fi network. So uh, let's Josh. see if this works. I'll show you that those things again. You saw them, but uh, we'll show it again. You got this. We got no no. And I got this. We got uh, Kana and Kido, which is yeah. fucking wonderful. I'm so and, glad. And the you. woman was like talking. She's like, oh, yeah. She's like, she's like, I'm happy I found someone that also thinks that, that also thinks you know, that Jock is his best girl. And I'm like, uh, it's actually for a friend. <laughs> Do you say that? 
<laughs> yeah, I did. Well, you, you could have been like, well, he thinks it. And yeah, no, I'm like, it's actually for a friend. And he's just like, oh. And I'm like, I'm more of a Satsuki person. Like, <laughs> Satsuki is cool, too. So we're good. Uh, I feel anyway. like Jakuza is pretty well appreciated as a good character. Like, that's not something... She is. I don't think she's not a good character. She's just not wife though. You know what I mean? But, like, she's not someone where it's, like, hard to find uh, someone else who likes her. Yeah, I guess. All right, anyway. Fleur. Continue. <laughs> that, that is true. I've, like, I've um, met, like, two people ever. Actually I'll like go in character. order by memory. I don't know if this will be right, but uh, let's just, just try this. Uh, they were giving this out when I was walking. It's an, it's like a it's a free patch for the Ghost in the Shell live action movie if that's coming out. We can't pull the Ghost from the Shell. We won't survive, and we only got so much time. So yeah, I don't know. In my coconut, so anyone I can wants chill. this, we're they can have the it. I don't. I've so I've I never feel. seen Ghost in the if Shell. If the world ends with me, then at least I made it. I watch the sky burn from the backyard faded. Okay, um, let me see. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I got this. This is a uh, Nintendo Power from when Super Smash Bros. Melee first came out. Yo, you bought that? It's yeah. sick. It's cool. It's a hit. It has like all these like two early 2000s ads. I love it. Like, look at this. I wanna. I really want to read what they have to say about Melee, considering that's a game... Uh, it's changed so much over the yeah. years. <laughs> it's a and game it comes with a poster. Like, it's a Batman a poster. That's cool. I'm not gonna take it out, but yeah. Um, yeah, shouts out Nintendo Power. Oh, look at this ad. It's so retro. That's sick. Yeah, but uh, I was happy with this. It was only five bucks. Um, oh, it says they were still making N64 games. It says stop uh, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, and N64. They were still making GameCube or. Uh, 64 games when the GameCube yeah, came out? Yeah, because it was 2001. GameCube came out in 2000, 2000 or I think, right? Oh, yeah, that was like... They, they probably just made, like, 64, and they're already advertising Melee. Yeah. 64 came out in, like, 2000, 2001. That, no, wait, Melee 64. is 2001. 64 came out in 2000, Melee came out in 2001, I think. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> yeah, um... Let's see, oh, yeah, I got this, um... This uh, Full Moon Alchemist light novel. Yo. Um, the Valley Valley of White Petals. Apparently it's like a spin-off story. Pretty cool. It said five bucks on it, but she gave it. She said three bucks when I went to check out, and I was like happy with that. Hey, it, you didn't um, correct it. No. There's original art from the creator in here. I gotta find a page with it. Uh, just an example. Yeah, there's like original art from the original mangaka in here. Which is pretty That's sick. Sick. I'm gonna read it. It's like the th I don't know if it, it's if it's the third light novel. I don't know if they're like standalone stories or if it's part of a series. But it's part of a series. I'll read the whole thing. But not. Oh, no. Then I got this. Uh, this. Um, Square and Lagan clear file. That's cool. Where'd you get you that? Got at a booth. You got Gurin. You got a uh, Yoko. You got a. Uh, Yoko's butt, uh, if I can get the position there. You got Simon. And, and you got, you got, you got Kami, Kami now. The best and guy. on the back, you got, I don't know if it's one or two clear file. You got, uh, s like Chibi version Simon. Simon. And, uh, Simon. And Simon. Yoko. Kami now. <laughs> God damn it. You got Simon. Um, you then. Got Simon Nelson Cook. So that's the, everything. The main I got. character of Gurren Lagan. <laughs> <laughs> then I got, that's everything I got the first day. Um, I asked about a girl Lagav figure that was pretty small, and he's like, "Oh, that's seventy dollars," and I'm like, "Yeah, no thanks." <laughs> but um, yeah, and then that was the, everything I got the first day. Second day, I got um, I got a uh, pretty cool uh, a pretty cool uh, Ness. <laughs> Sons. The winner is Sons. <laughs> I got him right here. He's winking. He's cool. Oh, and Ness, it's so good. It's so great to see you. Ness, five bucks. Um, and I got this booth was having a manga sale, but they were selling uh six books for twenty dollars. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I got uh three volumes of One Piece. I got volume twenty nine of One Piece. Nice. From the Skypea arc. 
I got a volume. 33 of One Piece is actually my least favorite volume, so that's why <laughs> I got it in this bundle, so I wouldn't have to like pay for it separately. You know what I mean? This is literally my least favorite part. It's such bullshit like thing that you would, you would, like if you were just watching the show, you'd imagine this part, oh, this is obviously a shitty filler. But no, it's actually in the series. It's the worst part. It sucks. It's terrible. If you, if you, it's the Foxy arc. If you've seen One Piece, you know exactly. So that's about. why I bought it. That's why I bought it in this bundle. You know what I mean? Like, so I didn't have to like pay for it separately. Like, if these you're, are like, these are English, right? It. Yeah, and then I got a uh, volume seventy-five, pretty recent one. Uh, it's during Dress Rosa arc. But, that's yeah. That's like three. That's like three dollars and thirty-three cents per. Uh, Per, yeah. bo- uh, per book, which is, um, like, really cheap for Then the next English. three were all... I got the next three all because of Digi. I got the uh, first Boogie Pop light novel. Because you know how much <laughs> Digi loves Boogie Pop. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, we're back. Um, I was just finishing saying how I got the first Boogie Pop light novel, which this book series was apparently one of Digi's biggest inspirations. And... So I, I've been wanting to read it for a while. I actually was going to buy it on Amazon, but um, it was here in this bundle, so I got it, and it's, it's a book, so it's cool. Uh, then, uh, this one definitely connects back to Digi. I wouldn't have known about this. This I think this is where Digi got... My audio what? was not recording, but it, it's fine. I, wasn't, I didn't say anything. Okay, okay. okay. I, I'm going to have now? the biggest problem editing this, but whatever. It's fine. We're, it's fine. We're, do- it's fine. We're doing it live. Go. Are you good now? Yes, I'm okay. good. Okay. Um, then I got this. Uh, these are definitely definitely heavily Digi-inspired, because I think this is the series that got Digi his his uh, username. Digibro, I think. This is where he, I Digital think Boy. this is where he got it from. Digital Boy or something? Yeah. Yeah. Digital Boy So reviews. these are the first two volume of uh, Mega Tokyo. Is that where Digital Boy is from? I think so, because it's a webcomic that was just put in books. It's a webcomic, and in the forms of the webcomic or something, I think that's his u- username or something on there. That's cool. And that was how he came to do it. So the first volume is just like random stories from the first year of the series, and the second volume is actually the first two legit volumes. They didn't, have so, any, they didn't have any Kagura Days manga? They had the light novels. They had the first two, which I already have. I have those two. They didn't have... I asked if they had more. They didn't, so... Aww. And that's everything I bought at, uh... At, uh... Anime USA. And, uh, I think, uh... Suns approves. Suns? Uh, well, we just gonna put everything away. That'll be good. And it'll be good to switch back to audio. Just give me one sec. I, I think I got the exact order I bought everything in, too, correct? Nice. You ready to go off video? Do we need to? I mean, it's, uh, wor- it's working, working pretty well. We... Okay, I guess we could stay on. We'll then. stay on for as long as... Uh, Josh's internet allows for. <laughs> you have sunglasses on now. All right. Um, What's been happening? So should I continue with the con stuff, or do you want to talk about your stuff? Um, I don't have much to say. Not, uh, not a whole lot interesting has happened in my life. Um, I did uh, when I, I walked into Panera to get. Uh, a bagel this morning before I recorded mm-hmm. this. Uh, I walked in and I, I walked up to the cash register and the dude said, "Hey, what's going on, Zach?" And I'm like, oh. what's up? I'll have I'll have what I always get." And he's like, "All right, oh, you've it. become a regular. I am a regular at Panera now." <sighs> We were just See, talking about how regular, like, the thing about regulars. Yeah, I hear a lot of people like the saying they podcast. don't like being regulars at places, and they will, like, actively avoid places if they become regulars. Josh mm-hmm. and I are, like, weird, extreme extroverts, right? <laughs> like, or we're, like... The introverts, you mean? No, no, you and I, we, like, we, like, identify with, like, the introverts, uh, but at the same time, we like we love going out outside and like seeing people. Yeah. Right. I guess. Yeah. Like you can't you can't live without leaving the house, or else you yeah you, you like die. I go insane. I love being a regular at places. Like <laughs> this, it just made me the happiest person this morning. Cause mm-hmm. I'm like I'm like oh my god, they know me. 
Like, I don't even have to order anymore. <laughs> they give me, like, special That's... deals. I, lo- I love it. Congratulations. We're, like, Congratulations. real weird hybrid introvert-extroverts. Yeah. I'm a hikikomo social. <laughs> hikikomo socialist. I'm a, I'm a hikikomo <laughs> capitalist. I'm now just imagining the picture of, uh... Fix, this is, like, so, like, like degrees of separation in my mind, but I'm imagining the picture of Bernie Sanders looking at the TV, and it's the Sonichu lecture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is such a great picture. Um, anyway, uh, in... in in uh, an extreme introvert slash extrovert fashion, uh, you went to a con alone this weekend. Tell us about mm-hmm. that. Okay, so this is the first time ever going to a con without friends. Um, this this con was Anime USA. It's a pretty small convention. It's in um, a hotel. It's in um, it's hotel. Was- Washington D.C. where where I live now. Um, it's. it's not too far, so I decided to go both days, and um, I had a really great time. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it, even though I didn't have any friends with me. I don't know, I just feel like at college it's a lot easier to just be like, say random shit to people, and not like, sort of like, just like, it's not like, oh, you have to interrupt conversation or anything. Everyone's kind of in this, like, overall conversation, I yeah, guess, like, I feel like, in a way, like, it's no, inter- like metaphorically. No one's really a I guess. stranger at a convention, yeah. right? Yeah. You just talk to anyone. So, so, literally, like, the first day, I strategically wore my Ruby shirt, so I was, like, in, everyone that was there for, like, Ruby was gonna be in this, like, because I knew it was the day the episode was coming out. Yeah. You, so I knew everyone that was gonna be there for Ruby was gonna be, like, trying to watch this episode. Like... Was that my Which, idea? Where I was like, go, I was like, find the Ruby cosplayers and watch yes. the episodes together. We didn't watch the episode together, but I'll, so pretty much what happened, if you're not familiar with what was going on yesterday, is that they did not expect the amount of traffic they were going to receive for the Volume 4 premiere, and the website collapsed. And everyone was trying to get on at the same time, which made it worse. <laughs> because everyone was just constantly refreshing to see if game up. So this actually happened while I was waiting online. Like, to get into the convention, like, pretty much what you have to do is you have to wait in line if you didn't register on, pre- pre- uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, typical shit. So I'm waiting online to get into the convention, and, um, by the way, I didn't show my badge. I should probably show that. I want to see it. <laughs> they gave me a full badge, because I bought it on Saturday, and it includes Saturday mission, includes Sunday free mission, so they gave me just the regular badges if I bought That's all tight. weekend, but. Dude. That's adorable. Ah, ah. <laughs> I wonder if I still yeah, have so. my, uh, my anime Boston one. Yeah, it's a pretty cool badge. I like it. Um, but yeah, so I'm waiting online and like I'm like standing there. And I'm refreshing my phone and I see I see the guy next to me is doing the same exact thing. He's standing there refreshing my phone and like, I, Yo, we just look at. Trying to watch that Ruby. No, I didn't even get to speak first. He sucked to me. He's like, he's like, oh, are you a Ruby fan? And I'm like, Hell yeah, yeah. Look at my shirt. And turns out he is a Ruby YouTuber too, and oh, we were shit. like sh- we were like comparing channels. We were like subscribed to each other. I'll pull up the channel because I do not remember the name. I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, you're you're getting a shout out. Don't worry. Uh, just give me a minute. But yeah, so we were talking, and um, yeah, we were both trying to watch the episode, and then like every cosplayer that came by, we we also were trying to get them. We were trying to talk to them about it, like, should be like, oh, God, what are we, fuck are we doing? How can we get into this fucking site? Where the fuck's the channel? Where the fuck is it? Hey, I, f- I found my, I found my Anime Boston badge. This was the con that I went to alone. It's uh, a parallel. It's like, it's like, it's thematic parallel. But, like, I, I actually knew some friends. I was, I was pretty much in your situation for day one, but then day two, yeah. I, I went with friends and got really, <laughs> and partied way too hard. <sighs> They were really sick. Uh, and then oh. I came back the next day. Oh, <laughs> uh, is that when you had the potions? Yeah, that was a mess. <laughs> I, I'm God. so... It was a mess, but it was uh, also one of the best nights of my life. So... Yeah. That, that's that's fair. So, shouts out... I found his channel. Shouts out to uh, Axel Boost. Axel Boost. He's, he's a Ruby YouTuber. How many subscribers does he have? Uh, does the bell and a number next to it mean the amount of subscribers yeah, he has? Yeah, yeah. He has 250 subscribers. Yo, we're going to collab so hard. Yeah, so we're going to collab. Um, he makes, I think, 
I think he makes AMVs, but he, he expressed interest in doing another kind of collab. Um, I'm going through his videos now. It's literally just Naruto AMVs, Korra AMVs, and Ruby AMVs. So, pretty cool channel. Go check out Axel Boost. We're going to collab one day. Hell Someday we'll do it. Yes. Possibly soon. Um, possibly soon, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, he was pretty cool. We like ran, like what happened was we were gonna like go into the con together because his friends weren't there yet. But like, I don't know what happened. We got like separated towards the front of the line because of the way they were organizing and I couldn't find him. So I just decided to go in. Oh, rest but, in peace. Um, but yeah, we ran into each other a couple of times throughout the weekend. But it was, it was cool. Um, it's not that big of a con. So obviously we're gonna run into each other again. But um, yeah, uh, it was, it was great con. I met a lot of Ruby cosplayers, and we talked about pretty much the same kind of shit, how we were all trying to get into the website, and we couldn't. I didn't get into the website until, like, 8.30 that night, and I was still having problems. I got in pretty like, early. Yeah, I feel like you had to get these, like, minute windows where you had to, like, almost jump into it kind of in that minute, and then once you were in, you were in. Yeah. I feel like. That's... And, but for me, it was just, like, it was just a mess, and everyone was, like, pissed off flipping out. But honestly, Rooster Teeth handled it extremely well. And I'm very proud of them. And I love Rooster Teeth. Keep up the great work. And I'm glad to be supporting such a such a cool, cool company. I'm I like I really like this show, so I don't really care it's, how it's, long I have to wait for it. Yeah, I, I like I've already waited. It's literally it's literally my probably my number three favorite show ever. I've been waiting so. like months for this season i don't yeah for this volume i don't care if i have to wait another like two hours it, it and it kind of like hit me last night after i watched the episode that it was back in a way you know what i mean like yeah well it was really like while i, I was watching it to say but we'll discuss it on the we'll, we'll, on the ruby cast yeah that's going that's going to the ruby cast we're not going to talk about it here uh great premiere though um if you haven't watched ruby already what are you fuck are you doing it's so much better than this fucking podcast what are you doing just go watch it Anyway, well, Con was great. You got anything else to say about the? Connection? I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, Cause I, I have got, a lot of great. Wait, what were you gonna say? I, I mean, I have something to say about solo conventions, since I guess that's Go what ahead. we're talking about. Go ahead, do it. Huh? Well, I do uh, it. I've been spinning this tale of like the of the the well dressed hentai men selling doujins to people. <laughs> <laughs> and, yes. Uh, this this week, I finally found. Uh, their social media and pictures of them in suits in selling hentai to people <laughs> and it is oh, it is exactly how i described uh their 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 social media is called hen dane they go to a bunch of like anime cons and dress well and sell hentai to people fucking hilarious i love them i really hope to see them this year that's i can't, i really want to see them they were they were at otakon <laughs> Otakon. Yeah. So Digi must have saw them. Probably did. I think. I, mean, I just love. I just love the concept of a bunch of guys in suits screaming at people. They're, I had to die. Like this is what gets to me. Like their their job, their profession is, they go to Japan once a year. They go to like Comicette. They buy a shit ton of hentai. Like, like, like hundreds of probably thousands of doujins just boxes yeah. full of them, bring them back, and then go to conventions and dress in suits and sell them to people. Like, that is their life. That is can their profession. Can this just be our career? Like, can we do this? I really want to. I want to find out a way where I... Where yeah, I, can... I would love to do this. What do you, what do, you do? Your parents ask, like, you're at Thanksgiving dinner with, like, your grandparents and shit. What do you do for a living? Oh, I sell I sell Japanese porn to, to, to young, young teenagers. But it's okay. I dress well while I do it. I, yeah, I dress super nicely. You could just say you're a salesman. I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm a salesman. And just hope no what one you, ever finds What do you sell? Pictures. Art. Art. <laughs> I sell books. <laughs> That's actually a scene in The Office, I think, where Stanley's walking and he drops like a folder and oh, a bunch of hentai falls onto the floor. He's like, it's called hentai. And it's, it's art. art. <laughs> I have seen that. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but um... This, this will be yeah. my profession one day. It will. This will be the two fine looking brothers. Two. Fi that's our name. Yes, we'll be the two fine looking brothers. So anti. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we get sued by the fine bros. 
Shige Hentai at the manga booth that I bought the shit ton of manga from, they have like this 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 big hentai section. And I love what they did where they'll like cover obviously because there's kids at the con they'll cut you know how they have to like cover yeah private parts with stickers, like big red stickers. So yeah, so like they would they would do it was like there was one specifically that I found hilarious. They covered like the two tits with like with like big red stickers walking up and they leave like this like red giant oozing out like semen. Like completely uncovered. I'm pretty sure it fell off or something. But uh I just find it hilarious. Just the image of that. At the at the hentai booth at Anime Boston, they had uh the the ones over the nipples spelled out Trump twenty sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was dying. Like Oh god. I couldn't actually look through their products because I was laughing too hard at what they were saying. <laughs> that sounds like the best booth I've ever, ever. It's so good. Yeah. Um, one booth had some of the stuff from the uh, Madogatari exhibit. Is that what it's called? Madogatari? The exhibit, you know, the big yeah. Madoka Monogatari exhibit. They had a lot of clear files and figures. And there was one, like, figure that I'm like, oh, shit, that's really cool. How much is it? Like, $150. Oh, I'm like, my God. It was uh... <laughs> I didn't buy any figures because they're so expensive. They're and I didn't buy any posters or prints. Well, you did I didn't. Me. I stopped myself, except for you. I stopped myself. Like I said, I'm not going to buy any. I walked through the artist alley like ten times, didn't buy anything any time. I hate the artist alley intimacy situation where yeah. like you have to go up to them and talk to them and look at things and then decide you don't want anything and walk <laughs> away. Like it's it's so like makes you feel so guilty yeah like you're just like ah oh, shit you I'm sorry when when you you're go so... through the artist cell you kind of have to have no. this facade of like like i don't care about feelings i have no feelings yeah <laughs> yeah like literally that's what you have to do and i see people that can't handle that like carrying hundreds of prints and i'm like you just spent like so much money for and stuff you probably didn't even want that much like um but yeah like it got to the point where it was like in the beginning, I was like, oh, sorry, I'll come back later and stuff like that. But, like, you, you bullshit excuses. But towards the end, I would just stop looking and walk away. Like, yeah. That's literally what I did. Like, towards the end, I'm just like, I'm just like. And then, and then you have a weird exchange and you can never walk past that booth again. So you just no, have to, you I, I have just, to avoid got... the row. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know yeah. the feeling, right? You know what artist was there, though? That artist that's at every con we ever go to now. Oh, she, I don't know how. They, like, teleport. It's, like, this, this, um... The one with, like, the big shiny prints, right? The one with yeah, Yoko and it's, like, they like, look... You know, yeah, 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 the one that I have, and it has, like, there's, like, the Avatar one, yeah. there's, like, the Ruby one. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. She's at, like, every con. She's at Anime and, Boston. How does she do it? She's at Anime Boston, she's at all the Florida cons, like, she's at this one, which is a small con, like, so, like, she goes to every con. I think I know how. How? Her prints are so expensive. Those big ones are, like, $80. Like, um, yeah, a regular size print was 20 bucks. Yeah, like, what the fuck? It's so ridiculous, although... And, but but the thing is, though, she's a great artist, so it's that's like... That's true. She's so deserved, but, yeah, she's she was there. That was interesting. Um, I'm trying to think, do I have any other... My favorite visual of the con was uh, going down the escalator and seeing on the side a bunch, like, this big Love Live show with a bunch of, like, greasy weeboos sitting in the crowd going, like, hi, hi, hi. 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 And the, but they had, the love people had these I like, do like the love live idols have like support people in the show that like stand on the side like sort of like doing this. It was just it was just these like it was a mixture of women and like these like overweight men just like wearing like kimonos and like like with like these glow sticks cheering them on. And I have a little quick vlog shot of it, but it was just the funniest <laughs> visual I've ever seen. I was like dying by myself. <laughs> just so... and the guy. Wait, I, I were they were they on, on the stage like cheering them on? The, they were like they were on the side of the like it wasn't really a stage it was a, a, the audience was on the same level as the table but like they were just on the side like right near next to where the uh, they weren't the idols they were just like next to where the idols were just like doing this and like yeah like this. and it was I just like I focused in on one guy who was just it was just this guy he just looked miserable he was just like <laughs> oh Liam what's up. We're doing a video podcast, so you can you can show yourself if you want to be in it. How do I get in? Where am I? You're right there. Oh, oh my but god! But that's gonna, that's gonna be that's gonna be bigger in the actual thing. Okay, sweet. Yeah. For some reason, I was looking at. <laughs> that's me. Hi. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna be in my shot because you're not in my room. Yep. <laughs> Clearly. Walks walks up up the stairs next to me into your room. Ah. ah. <laughs> 
Boo. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's that's the thing I was gonna say. I was in Dunkin' Donuts, um, and it was like the start of this ad advertising their Halloween donuts, and like it just starts with someone go like all of a sudden you see the guy go boo and they go ha, ah. and I'm like, I'm like <laughs> okay, so so we started that joke, right? <laughs> well, we did. Where did it come from? Like it came from um, it came from the shot in cosplayers. Yeah. That I edited well, the... together, where it, it zooms in on the... Oh, it's the ghost turning side to side. And then it zooms <laughs> in and it becomes Alberto's face and goes, Ah! <laughs> the, but, the, doesn't he go, Boo? <laughs> where did the boot come from? It's, it, it, the, original, the original shot um, had... Oh, I can't remember which was the original, which is the new one. I gotta re-edit this part together so it goes, Boo! Ah! Okay. Like, one, one version of the video has, Boo! And the other version has, Ah! <laughs> and somehow they got pieced together in our vernacular, and now someone goes, boo, woo, woo, woo. ah. <laughs> yeah, so I was, like, dying when that went. So, I felt so bad for the Duck and Donuts right outside the convention center. Like, literally, like, the first day, like, by, they were, like, just, were, I got the last bagel they had. They just ran out of food. Like, they just, like, because hundreds of people, like, everyone that was going to that con, that's where they, like, went. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so it just, they ran out of every donut, every food, and most coffee supplies. They eventually ran out of creamer while I was eating my lunch there. Oh, my God. So they literally could only sell black coffee. I mean, I'm, I'm good with that, like. Yeah, but, like, it literally just collapsed. And the next day, <laughs> I don't know if they didn't, they, they got resupplied in the morning, and they, apparently they ran out of food by 9 a.m. That sucks. Sun, today. Today. And so they were literally just sunk coffee. It's just insane, like, how many people... But yeah, I felt bad for that Tucker Donuts, but, uh... Yeah. I'm trying to think if there was any other cool, cool convention stories. Um... I don't think so. That's it? That's all that happened the whole weekend? Nah, there was... There was... There was stuff. Um... I'm trying to think, like, any other... There obviously are other stories. I just can't, just can't think of them. Are you are you coming up for head. PAX this year? When is it? It is uh, uh, like April. It's next year. I don't know. I'd have to see. I am already booked. Well, I don't know. Their tickets are so like hard to get for PAX. It's whatever. If you could get me tickets, they're expensive. Unfortunately, I really want to go to RTX. We should we should definitely do RTX instead of if we don't do PAX, we should do RTX. They're different sections of the summer from SuperCon. Like SuperCon got moved to end of July, RTX is still beginning of July. So I we could do both. I think we should absolutely go. My I'd love to go to RTX. My internship ends in June. I will be back in I don't, July. The only, that's the only thing I do not know what I'm doing next summer. So I have no idea. Anyway. It, do we have Alberto in on this? Alberto. We're going to PAX East. No. No, I mean, RTX. I mean, I, mean, RTX, RTX, I, I think we can. Be. We're adults. Like, it's it's really not even that far. It's like, it's like 18 It's in hours. Texas. Huh? Will we take a plane or will we drive? No, we drive. It's like, it's, who, whose car are we even? Whatever. We'll, we'll discuss this later. <laughs> we want to go. Alberto's red car with like the, the mirror falling off. That car, is not, that that car does not work with no air conditioning. We're sitting in there for nine hours. For, Alberto, for 18 hours. No, he doesn't take out all the shit from the car, so it's still like in the <laughs> it's like you're just it drowning and stuff. Be, like I'm thinking about like how much money we would lose in gas just from him having all that shit still in the car. Like <laughs> we just unnecessarily be carrying. He'll still all be of like holding. In Wait, the you car. were there for this when his window when his window came off and he refused to fix it. Just get it fixed. So he was like, had, every time he was driving, he would drive with one hand and like hold the mirror to the car they, through the window <laughs> with his other hand. And he just taped it back on. I'm pretty. Yeah, sure, he I'm taped it back sure on. And we pull, he tapes it back on. We pull out and it just falls off. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. Um. Anything interesting happen? Um, we've con? been we've been watching. Me and my roommates have been watching a lot of movies lately. A lot of Harry Potter. Yeah, we watched, uh, we're on Deathly Hallows Part 2, um, which is the last movie. But yeah, so, we've been binge-watching the Harry Potter series again. 
Um, Half Blood Prince is a fucking shitty movie. <laughs> and here's why. Which one's that? It is the sixth. Sixth. Okay. It is the worst adaptation out of all of them, and it's the only one that manages to still be a somewhat shitty movie. Not as an adaptation. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, when it's a book to movie, you'll complain about, like, the stuff they didn't, like, do right and everything. Because but the movie's the, an hour and a half. Yeah. But all of all of the Harry Potter movies, you don't need, like, except for this one I'll get to, you don't even need to see the movies. Like, you don't even, I mean, you don't even need to read the books. Like, there are still good movies. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, um, half Prince, they leave out so much that you just... If you didn't read the book, you will not understand what's going on. And, like, it's just... I don't know. And they, they like... It's just annoying. It's annoying. Yeah. It's annoying. Um, My door is open. I have... At the, at the request... I was convinced by Patreon.com slash Ben Saint uh, to watch Wizard People Dear Reader, which is a fan dub... Over, over the first Harry Potter movie, uh, by Brad Neely, the the dude who made China Illinois, which is one of my favorite shows, uh, and it's it's fucking hilarious. I was, there there is a specific episode, the the Griffin Ball episode, whatever it's called, I don't remember. They they call it something different. They, it's Quidditch, right? In the actual Quidditch, movie. yeah. They, they call yeah. It, it's something. It's something ball. It's like dumbass. I don't remember what it is something it's something ball and yeah i was i was like in i was almost in tears laughing so hard throughout that whole episode it's so funny i gotta watch that series you know what else <laughs> i gotta watch that they recommended whatever that like that like series that jesse showed them but like wrestling oh the, series yeah. with the guy the guy that goes delete 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 delete, delete, delete. delete. i gotta watch that i gotta watch that man i, I wish i could to. cast many a wine out of nowhere <laughs> spell is that where that's from? What? No, that's Wait, from, what are you that's from wizard people. The uh, the concept is that Harry is the strongest wizard to ever happen, and he could kill everyone around him, but he doesn't because he doesn't want to, and he's drunk all day because he casts <laughs> he casts this wine out of nowhere spell and just drinks himself into into like a drunken haze. He's he's still like ten or whatever he was in, in the first movie. He's eleven. He's eleven. <laughs> It's so, it's, and what's it, Hard, this is Hardcastle McCormick, is my favorite, my favorite character. Hardcastle McCormick, what and, is, who is she, like, what character is she? I don't she? know, the old teacher? McGonagall? What, who's the old one in the first movie? It's probably McGonagall. Is, I'll send you a she's, picture. She's the one who, like, gets him on the, on the Quidditch team, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's her. Yeah, it's McGonagall. yeah. Her, I love her. She's Hardcastle McCormick. And, um, what does that even mean? <laughs> there's, uh, there's some show called Hardcastle and McCormick, so I guess he decided her name was Mrs. Hardcastle McCormick. And uh, and then there's... It um, sounds so good just from like here. There's on, Snake, yeah. the ugly professor. She's horrible. And then Hagar the Horrible, who is a, a giant... And... Ha- yeah, that's that's Hagrid. But yeah, Hagar who's... the Horrible. Her- Hagar the Horrible is a name of something, right? <laughs> and like, and he it's like... a fucking comic strip. Hagar, it's a fucking like old newspaper comic strip. He like he of, like, like keeps... about a Viking. <laughs> I think it's it's pretty much like Friendship is Witchcraft, where it's like not funny, like the stuff isn't that funny on its own, but the fact that it just keeps being hammered into you in like different ways. Like every time yeah. it's mentioned, is <laughs> is is hilarious. We we got it. So we're probably gonna end up. Oh no, what? My headphones are gonna die. No. But I have the charger. Yeah. So you like get to see on video how ridiculous this thing looks. <laughs> Give me uh. Josh can't hear me right now, so I can say whatever the fuck I want about him. Fuck. You, Joshy. He's not even editing this. Hi, he's back. Hello, can you hear me? Did you hear all of that? I hope you couldn't. Theme song. Oh, it just died. It just died. <laughs> I, it's plugged in, but it's dead. I, I, it's, 
<laughs> Alright, say say goodnight to the good people I can't, watching. I can't hear you. Oh wait, uh, is it working? Is it is it back? No, it's it's the um the fucking laptop audio. What? Give me one second. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm in. Are you back? Yes. All right, end it. End end the podcast. Why is it over? We're not done yet. Oh, we aren't. I thought you're. I thought we were just gonna go because your headphones were dead. Are they working? Oh no, it's it's yeah, it's working. All right, we're it's back. Not over yet. We're back. We're not over. It's not over yet. I'm sorry. How I you like it, it so far? How'd you like it so far? <laughs> um. So what else do you want to talk about? Um. Were we gonna talk about friendship as witchcraft? We. We're oh yeah, I was just about to say we're probably gonna do a let's watch like we did with Ruby of all Friendship is Witchcraft at some point. I so have been look out for that. I've been rewatching it and it is legitimately the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So we should do that probably over winter break. Good good idea. Are you um, you're gonna be back for Thanksgiving, right? I'm not. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be in New York. Fuck you it's okay why you know i i, I might have been i was like possibly going hold on it's 420 uh i was like possibly going for 20 get, get your for snapchat 20. get your snapchat open <sighs> don't i don't like all right whatever then you, the, you don't you would stop recording huh oh yeah you're no, right you I'll, I'll do it for us it's frozen snapchat froze my camera's broken <laughs> Our stuff crashed. We're live. We're, all right, we're live. Oh, actually, it like sort of worked. Whatever. But we're, yeah, we're what online. I was gonna say is, uh, I don't know if you wanted to talk about this yet, but uh, we watched a movie this week, both of us. <gasps> yes. Let's talk about this. It's called uh, Kimi no Nawa. Um, or as some plebs like to call it, your name. Your, ki Kim, I'm just gonna call it Kimi no Nawa. It doesn't sound right saying, Kimi, it doesn't sound right saying, your name. You gotta say, Kimi no Nawa. <laughs> God. God, um, I, it was a very, very good movie. I liked it a lot. I fucking um, love that movie. I don't give ratings anymore, so I wouldn't give it anything out of anything. Yeah, I don't I've give ratings cleaned. either, but I'm going to say I just favorite movie. Favorite movie. Summer Wars has been that... bumped down to number two. Yeah. Although, although I will, I will concede they are very close, but they are very... They're very different movies. Kimi no Nawa is a watch alone Kimi movie. Kimi no Nawa is an amazing movie. I would not say it's one of my favorites, but it's a very good movie. I loved it. Um, it was very good. Um, if you... Oh no. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? No. No. No, I wouldn't, <sighs> I wouldn't do that. Cause this is still a fucking good movie. It's just it's a it's a group movie. It's not an alone movie. It's hype. What? Summer Wars is a group movie. Summer Wars I, is I, hype I could see, yeah, exciting Wars is definitely, as a group. So everyone just has to go, oh Uncle Webby skiing together. Uh, Uncle Webby skiing. Uh, I'm so wet. <laughs> did you did you switch sunglasses? Yeah. No. What are you talking about? I've always been wearing these. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, Kim, yeah. Um, how how did uh, how did Kimmy No Noah make you feel? Made me feel happy and sad. I don't I don't want to spoil anything since we didn't put a spoiler. It's a very on it's this, a very uh, a, but, no don't spoil anything but it's a very melancholic movie. It's a very good movie and I feel like. Can I talk about what type of movie it is, or no? Is that yeah, a yeah? Itself? Like I'd say anything okay. in the first half is like it's a it's a body switch movie, like a Freaky Friday body yeah. switch. This movie, this gets but... explained in like the in like the summary of the movie. Yeah, on any, it's on any um, site. this is not. It's spoilers. probably the I'd say it's the greatest body switch story ever told, other than Freaky Friday, the, epi the Jimmy Neutron episode. 
where Jimmy and Cindy switch bodies. Oh shit, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> All right, so in 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 order of like, see, body switch is not my favorite genre. My favorite genre it's is nowhere near my favorite genre. Loop, but the but in in terms of in terms of tiers of movies that did body switching right, Jimmy Neutron, Freaky Friday, Kimi no Noah. Have you seen Freaky Friday? Freaky Friday fucking sucks. <laughs> Isn't that the Disney movie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like what people consider to be the quintessential body uh, switching movie, though. Yeah. It's a bad movie. Don't go see it. Just watch. If, you're, if you want to sit down and watch Freaky Friday, throw Freaky Friday in the trash. Because you should just watch Kimi no Nawa instead. Um, the, it's right now, since it's technically still in theaters, the quality is really shitty. But You're right. but it's it's still wrong. There's like text all over the fucking screen. There's points where subtitles go over other subtitles. So you have to can't read like half the stuff. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. It's not worth it. Yeah. It doesn't. Um, it also, doesn't after that, me. go watch uh, go watch the the uh, Plebe and the Weeb, the new series <laughs> by uh, G. Jesse. Um, did you Rocket Legs? We're like the funniest <laughs> thing in the world. <laughs> I was dying when it like slowly started like going into the sky. <laughs> That's I do the same thing with my legs, so I can totally relate. <laughs> Me too. I'm doing it right now. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm like I'm not doing it now because I have a skinny chair and it's been wonderful because I can just like rock myself back and forth instead of bobbing my legs. Anyway, I want to talk about Kimi no Noa and my experiences because yes. that movie's a fucking trip. Uh, and I felt like a different person after watching it. I, I was, <laughs> uh, it's it's a little embarrassing to talk about why I love this movie so much, but it was because I was I was crying for the last forty minutes, <laughs> for pretty much the second really? half of the movie, huh? So you were that emotionally attached to these characters? I was I was bawling my eyes out for forty minutes straight. By the time it was over, I was like dry heaving, because. <laughs> <laughs> or like the equivalent of crying where there's nothing left. There were no there were no tears coming out, but I was still I was still crying, and I actually almost threw up because I was I was so like happy, <laughs> I just imagine sad, you like bittersweet. you like think the credits roll just like Bob starts oozing out of your like. <laughs> well, no, I said dry heaving, <laughs> but yeah, I, I like uh, pretty much almost threw up. I had to pull over the pull over the trash. God, I didn't have that much. Like, I thought it was a very good movie. I didn't have that much emotional response. That movie fucking destroyed once. me. I don't, I don't know what it is. Why it was so good. It was very good. I'd highly recommend it. Um, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I, I really want to watch that movie as a group the next time we're all together uh, for like the off chance that I actually have this reaction again and I think you guys will find it really funny. <laughs> yeah right yeah. like <laughs> and in honor we should do like when we do Kagura Project Day where we drink like the coke and red bean we should drink we should watch this movie on like the day whatever and we should drink spit sake <laughs> but you gotta it's gotta ferment for like you, oh we, we gotta start the, now <laughs> it's the most disgusting thing ever it's really I was I was like a little not gonna lie I was a little turned on when he drank it Ugh. I was like are you fucking kidding me huh? Zach uh, I mean, Jesse, no, Jesse was I mean, talking no, about no how he was spoilers, turned on, right? But it like it was like contact, and I was like, it, like in real life, fucking disgusting. But in the movie, I was like, I was yeah. on board. Jesse, Jesse was like talking about how much that, how hot that scene was. <laughs> See, I agree with Jesse here. I agree with Jesse God, on a I lot love of Jesse. things. I listened to the comics podcast. It was good. I like it. There's a point where he literally just starts screaming the MLP theme, like just like blah, 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 making weird noises for like a minute. <laughs> but it was good. I, I liked it a lot. I gotta watch that. Still. Um I've been watching a lot of Blue Glow though. I started, I watched like the first five minutes of Gone Home. So it's so. It's good. talking about how he knows everything you're supposed to do, but is purposely not doing Literally, everything like you're supposed that, to do. That video is better than the actual game. I don't know. I, I don't. I've never played the game. It's it's okay. Is it good? Is it a horror game or what? No, it's. I kind of went into it thinking it was a horror game, and I was I was disappointed that it wasn't, considering how. Yeah. Is it pretty much? How like, the fuck is my earbuds dying again? I don't understand. They're plugged in. They're charging. 
It's because that obnoxious fucking beep. It goes beep, 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 beep. And then it just, it just like, it does it, but it doesn't even give you a warning. It's not like a 10 minute warning. It's literally a 10 second warning. Beep, 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 I'm going to lose audio in like any second beep, beep, now. Beep. Hey, I'm charging you. Joshy Cast is the best. No, laid an egg. Alberta laid can't an egg. I can't. Oh, what fun it is to sit okay. in IHOP and record podcasts. Talk. Yay. Are Speak. you back? Hello. I can't hear you. It's okay. I can't hear you. Uh, I think, I mean, we're like pretty much about done. We're like pretty much about done. Okay, good night. Good night. Are you, good night. Are, is it over? All right. It's it's over. Thank, good, thanks for listening, guys. It's been fun. Good night. I can't I can't stop recording. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Good night.